As a kid, I was very, very energetic. I always see photos from maybe when I was, you know, six or even ten, just jumping around, making pillow forts, jumping on the couches, always running around, and I always had this very electric smile on my face. I played all the sports that every kid plays, and I was overall a very just peppy kid. When Sebastian was young, he was full of life. I mean, the biggest goofball in the best possible way. And he was just a lot of fun and happy. That's significant when you think about the change that came over him into somebody who was sort of plagued by something that initially we didn't know what it was. When I first got sick, I think it was probably around middle school, uh, when I'd have frequent stomach aches during class. I remember during my geography class one day, I left for about an hour and I literally was too scared to come back to class to try to explain why I missed class so I just called my mom and had her pick me up and I was confused because as a sixth to seventh grader you really don't understand the amount of different possible illnesses that someone can have. You know I had all these horrible symptoms but nothing could explain it. Sebastian went from happy-go-lucky to withdrawing. He was constantly in the bathroom, in pain, not able to eat, and we saw lots of signs of blood. And we knew something was terribly wrong. I remember thinking, what is Crohn's colitis? And they very patiently described that it's a disease you manage, you don't cure, and that he would have this for life. And I'll never forget that moment, because in that very moment, two things. One, you would do anything to trade positions with your kid. And then two, you think we have a chronically ill child. And that's been, our experience for the past two years. After my diagnosis, there came a day when I stepped on a scale and I was 130 pounds, which I'm five foot 10 and that's pretty underweight for someone, you know, like me that was also, you know, cares about their health, cares about fitness. And I mainly felt depleted all of the time. And I was 135 pounds about a year and a half ago and I currently weigh 185 pounds. I'm in remission right now, but it won't always be that way. I have the energy to get through my day. This is powerful. I genuinely feel so great, so strong, so happy, and just healthy. And I know that no matter what city I end up in for college, uh, through the community and the resources provided by the foundation, I will be happy, healthy, and have nothing to fear. The work that the foundation does is just absolutely vital to not only having our kid live a good life, but hopefully live a life free of this. And the fact that that can one day be a possibility is something worth supporting. Every kid around the country deserves the care that I received. I wanna see every kid not live in any fear, you know, especially the fear that so many young people feel with colitis. And I'm excited for the future.